Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my pleasure to present the Royal Australian Air Force Aerobatic Display Team, the Roulettes. Now the aircraft you're seeing today, ladies and gentlemen, is the Pilatus PC-9. It's a Swiss design, Australian ma manufactured aircraft. has two ejection seats in a tandem configuration. That means one behind the other. A maximum speed of about 600 kilometres an hour and a range of about 1,000 kilometres an hour. Maneuver, the deep big crossover. From the right, roulettes 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6 are in a large inverted V. And from the left, roulette 4 will pass directly through the centre of the formation, missing by only metres. Watch close. In roulette 2 position today, we have flight lieutenant Paul Bryan. Paul joined the Air Force in 1988, initially as an aircraft technician. to become a roulette is quite high. The team devote a lot of free time. They've got about 10 years experience, mainly in flying instruction. Now once roulette 4 rejoins the formation, they'll be setting up for the next manoeuvre. The wedge rollbacks rejoin to Vulcan. Now you've heard all the action from the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't we cross live now to squadron leader Peter Robinson to listen to him command the team through the rollbacks. Now the smoke you're seeing generated today is a mineral oil and diesel mix. It's injected into the right exhaust stub of the PC-9 where it's vaporised by the 800 degrees Celsius temperatures. Not only is it visually impressive, it also helps the team locate each other in times of poor visibility. From the front now, the team's setting up for the next manoeuvre, the Concord Loop and Pairs Split. You'll see roulettes 5 and 6 depart the formation at the beginning of the manoeuvre. There goes roulettes 5 and 6. actually looks like one of the more easier manoeuvres, but in fact it's one of the hardest. From These guys are about 500 feet above the ground, they're missing each other by about 6 feet. This is no illusion ladies and gentlemen, these guys are directly on top of each other. Now from behind, roulettes 1 to 4 setting up for the teeter box loop and fly past. Now we can see the aircraft in a T shape. Now see the formation shape has changed and we're, they're exiting in a box. Mark Jordan Air Force 
1987 and after completing pilot's course was posted to fly the P3C Orion. After completing flying instructor course he was posted to number two flying training school. Mark was lucky enough to go to the United States Air Force on an exchange posting to fly the T-37. Mark has over, has over 4,500 hours experience and it's his first season with the roulettes. Let 4 is flying a barrel roll over the, around the complete formation. From the front now, we're at 5 is setting up for the solo spin, followed by max rate turn. setting up the card 5 loop and fly past. This is very difficult for Roulette 2. Roulette 2 has his head turned 90 degrees to the left. He's flying formation off Roulette 1. Imagine trying to drive a car by looking out the side window. <laughs> Our training to become a Roulette is quite extensive. The Roulettes undergo the an intensive three-month training program, beginning, beginning at a formation of two, walking, working up to a formation of six. Flying at altitudes of 4,000 feet, working their way down to 500 feet, before being cleared for public flying. Guys now setting up for the fifth barrel roll. Roulette 5 will rejoin formation during this manoeuvre. This requires a tremendous sense of timing and judgement. And the mission of the roulette to bring to the Gretchen is to bring the Australian Defence Force to the people of Australia to, de to demonstrate our professionalism, knowledge and skill. I'm going to leave you now with the voice of squadron leader Peter Robinson, the roulette leader, as they set up for the next manoeuvre and final manoeuvre, the Delta Luton Cascade. From the front they're setting up for the grand finale. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've hoped you, I've hoped you have enjoyed the display. And on behalf of the team I'd like to say thank you and farewell from the roulettes. Watch closely. It's farewell from the bullets. concerning air show special effects and simulated air and ground combat detonations. Air show officials have been planning and today and tonight they are working with CFA experts and WorkSafe officials to ensure a safe environment. <laughs>